Hippies, heads, freaks, and flower punk peat snakes. That kind of covers what was going on from 65, 66, 67. Uh, and uh, the hippies were um, a reaction to the beatniks. So we realized under the influence of psychedelics that the beatniks were not having fun. They're just oh, I'm so beat man, you know, and you know, and they were too old for rock and roll, so it's an artier thing, and and so the f word hippie originally meant a fake hip person, like somebody who'd come into a jazz club on the weekends and snap his fingers on one and three and stuff like that, but kind of dress up the way he imagined a hip person to dress. Then the freaks were the freaks. It's different than hippies. Um, the mere pranksters were freaks. Um, uh, they would purposely do strange and wonderful things to freak people out. Uh, important tribe. Flower punk peaceniks are the people who had been garage bands and punk rockers and, you know, top 40 rock and roll at the time, uh, who got either swept into it um, by the fashion or actually got dosed and then then you're aboard. Uh, John Perry Barlow said, uh, when somebody asked him, when did the 60s start? And he said, uh, it started the first time you took acid. <laughs> John Perry Barlow, a lyricist of the Grateful Dead and one of the co-founders of the American Musical Heritage Foundation. I probably wouldn't have done it without him. Anyway, uh, so uh, this is the Bay Area. This is the big revolution that happened in the 60s. And uh, it was Berkeley, San Francisco, Palo Alto, and Santa Cruz. So that's basically the epicenters of that scene. Uh, Los Angeles was top 40 radio, and the Mamas and the Papas at best, and uh, LA hippies at best. Then there was the New York thing, and then the British had just got come out of a depression post-war, because they you know, had the bombs everywhere. And for the first time, people had money. So the... British 60s thing is a consumer culture. Uh, it's its own thing, but the, the hippie thing is special. And let's show you, this is the original cast album of the 1960s. Ken Kesey and the Merry Pranksters, Grateful Dead and all that, the acid test record. And uh, this is an important record, very important record because it's actually a recording of an acid test. Everybody on this record is flying, at least flying on the ground, if not up the walls and over the sea when the 